Good morning, everyone. I'm in the uh, town of Ushango on the Tanga coast in northern Tanzania. Small little rural area. Um, not a lot of people live here compared to a lot of Tanzania, but still fairly heavily populated compared to a lot of other places. And um, I wanted to share something really interesting uh, for those of us who think about geography a lot. Um, Tanga is a region that has a lot of beauty. Like you can see here, there's the salt marsh behind me, uh, a, lot of animal, a lot of birds um, making their calls right now. Um, you can also see there's a tree here that's been cut down. Um, one of the things that we see in places like Tanzania that don't have um, a ton of resources, like um, the trees don't grow very fast, we don't have a lot of forests in a lot of Tanzania, a lot of areas that are, are grassland or sparse forests, um, and a lot of demand for wood. For building materials is a major demand for wood, um, but also for cooking. Um, wood fire is a major source of cooking fuel for most Tanzanians still. Um, you get into the big cities and people start moving away from that, but small towns, villages, um, rural areas um, use a lot of, of wood for cooking. And as you can see, that this area has been cleared uh, and the wood has all been stacked up here. And it's not your usual sort of firewood pile. You see there's big pieces, but there's also really small pieces. Um, and this is a really fascinating uh, part of the wood fire ecosystem or the wood fire um, system, I guess, which is that um, the wood here is stacked up because what's going to be done to it um, is right behind me. Let me walk over here with you really quick, make sure I don't trip over anything. Um, what's going on here is this is a charcoal fire. And so the, the um, wood is being stacked up like that and then set on fire. I'm going to pause for a minute while this uh, motorbike goes by. But what you can see here is that the wood has been stacked up in a big rick like I showed you, but then they, they light it on fire and then they cover it with sand here. So we've got maybe a stack 40 feet long there, four or five feet high and about hmm, six or eight feet wide um, and covered with sand. You can see it's just smoldering. You can see that smoke in there coming off the top. So it's just, just burning, burning, burning very slowly in there. And what happens is the wood turns into charcoal um, which is a very efficient cooking source, as you know, for anyone who's cooked over charcoal, um, but it's also very lightweight and easily transported, and so therefore more valuable. So this represents an income source for people who live in rural areas. You can cut down trees, turn them into a charcoal fire like this, and then, um, then you know, harvest the cool charcoal and, se and sell it in big bags, um, and then that gets transported into areas that have fewer trees or are a little bit more urban. Um, and so it's an easy way to transport and make money from the woods. But of course, uh, we end up with widespread deforestation because of that demand for cooking fuel. So um, it's a, a fairly common problem to a lot of um, areas in sub-Saharan Africa and elsewhere in the world where um, wood is a common cooking fuel. Thanks.